Kelsey Winger, Brian Jordan, and Ryan Klesko here with you. What an exciting win for Atlanta. They now move up to 10 and 3 in extra innings on the season. This team never quits. Well, now we want to bring in our resident starting pitchers, and that, of course, is Hall of Famer Tom Glavin and Paul Bird, because you look at what this starting rotation has done. We hear it all the time. Starting pitching sets the tone, and Tom, that is exactly what they have done recently. Max Free, like we said, seven innings, one hit, no runs, no walks, nine strikeouts, 90 pitches, lowers his ERA to 386, and Peter, he has the same demeanor that he has after every game. He was so poised, and we have seen so much growth from him. And at the trade deadline, we knew one of the biggest things Alex Anthopoulos and his crew wanted to address was the bullpen, and they did just that, going out and getting three solid relievers with closing experience. Chris Martin, one of those guys who has become an incredible setup guy for Atlanta. So Paul Bird was able to sit down with him in our Chevrolet player interview. Okay, well, you know what's even better than Josh Donaldson hitting his 35th home run of the season? The fact that two other guys on this ball club, the power that we've seen this season, Peter, has been so much fun to see Freddie Freeman not have to be the guy every right. single time. And it was labeled the most important series of the season. Behind brilliant pitching performances from Max Fried and Dallas Keuchel and hitting heroics from Ron DeCunha Jr. and Josh Donaldson, the Braves have reigned on the Nationals parade. And tonight, Julio Tehran takes the hill. Can he continue to wash out Washington's division dreams? Game three of a pivotal NLE showdown is next. Luke Jackson comes in. He has two, three, four, strikes out the side, and yeah. he gets the win. Good for you, Luke Jackson. But Ryan Snicker's team moves up to 66 and 46 on the season, sitting right now six and a half games up in the NL East. You know he's feeling pretty good right now. His press conference is brought to you by Xfinity. Well, plenty of fans here at SunTrust Park expecting a nice crowd this weekend. We're about 20 minutes away from first pitch of the series opener here between the Braves and the Nationals. And earlier, we brought you an exclusive interview with Tom Glavin and Dallas Keuchel, where you're about to hear more of that, where Dallas talks about his Cy Young year and also that crazy free agency waiting game before he signed with the Braves. Here it is. We spoke about the bullpen struggles when Alex Anthopoulos went out and made all of these incredible moves and they struggled and they first got over here. Shane Green, I mean, when you're playing the Washington Nationals, it's just like facing the Braves in the ninth inning. It doesn't matter the deficit. It doesn't matter the score. It doesn't matter how many outs. They have a chance to win every single game. Shane Green comes in with a one-run lead. His first save opportunity, we've seen him in for quite a while, and he was dominant. How, that's so good to see. It's Josh Donaldson last night with his 35th home run of the season. He has come up and been that cleanup guy right behind Freddie Freeman that the Braves needed to get. We've seen Freddie Freeman and Josh Donaldson both take off. We've seen the umbrellas break out. And the players in this clubhouse know how much Josh Donaldson means to this team, not only at the plate. I didn't give you enough credit. I know you're about to call me out. You're, you've become a starting pitcher recently. I started 10 games in the Czech Republic. I know exactly what you guys are talking about, Tom. Well, he said this team never quits, and he said that's why he wanted to be an Atlanta Brave. Well, Dallas Keuchel, we hope you're enjoying your time here. The Braves get the win in game three. Thanks to this man, our Toyota Let's Go Places focus tonight has to be Ronald Acuna Jr., his first career walk-off. Braves country, they did it. Five to four, your final in 10 innings. Atlanta Braves feeling good right now. They have won the division. They have clinched a playoff spot, and they have hit the road to Kansas City for an interleague series. Only two games versus the struggling Royals. 100 losses on the season so far. Brian Snicker and Ned Yost shaking hands before the game. Is that guy going to reach 40-40? And Ozzie Albies has been carrying this team with his offense recently. Josh Donaldson in a different spot in the lineup tonight. We'll explain that and plenty more coming up on Braves Live. And welcome into our Braves Live set. I'm Kelsey Wingert alongside Brian Jordan. And Brian, you know, I said that the Braves have already clinched their division. They know where probably they're going to be playing in the postseason. No matter if you lose out, win out, your position is going to stay the same. So mm -hmm. right now, what, what is that mindset for the players? 
But let's take a look at what's coming up next. Like we said, the Braves take game one. There's still three games left. And tomorrow, check out this pitching matchup. My goodness, Patrick Corbin and Dallas Keuchel. Corbin, 11 and 6 with a 319 ERA. And Dallas Keuchel has been the Dallas Keuchel that we all expected to see recently, a 372 ERA on the season. Our coverage starting at 630 on Fox Sports South. If you can't watch it on TV, download the Fox Sports Go app. You can watch it on there from anywhere as well. So one of the guys we haven't talked about yet is Josh Donaldson, who continues to show off the glove. A great play to retire Michael A. Taylor from his knees for the first out in the third inning. We're going to hear from Brian Snicker inside the clubhouse coming up next. You know, when we were in San Diego, David Justice was there and we were talking about the team and he said, you know what you're going to get from Freddie Freeman every year. We know Ronald Acuna Jr. is going to be a superstar. He said, I think Ozzie Albies is going to be a superstar as well. Those two guys on display tonight. The Braves get the win in game three of the series. But let's take a look at our Chevrolet upcoming schedule because we're bringing a game for the series finale tomorrow. Another good pitching matchup. Sonny Gray in 21 starts a 345 ERA. What a rotation the Reds have put together. And hey, are you guys still sleeping on Julio Toronto? because you need to wake up in 23 starts Julio Tehran a 338 ERA on the season it'll be a good one tomorrow our coverage starting at 1230 on Fox Sports South and on Fox Sports Go come into our Braves live studio Kelsey Minger and Brian Jordan here with you and you know they were kind of in a skid we talked about it mm -hmm. pregame you said this is a bad time to get in a skid but man they showed you something tonight rebounding from last night they're talking about this offense. I love the way that Tom Glavin just just explained that from a player's perspective, just how deflating that can be when you come in here all confident. You haven't been able to gain any ground. Like they said, the Braves put a two spot on the board in the first inning, and our offense is the Toyota Let's Go Places focus tonight.